Hello folks, let's go ahead and take a look at how you could create a chatbot for Twitter. Basically, how you could have your tweets read and automatically replied to using artificial intelligence or using a chatbot. Uh, I had initially targeted this video towards uh, folks who are already aware of Dialogflow or already familiar with Dialogflow and wanted to do an integration with Twitter or enable the Twitter channel. If that's what you're looking for, then please look at uh, this particular portion of the video mentioned here. Uh, for the integration with Twitter, it's pretty straightforward. But for someone who is new to uh, Dialogflow and is interested in creating a chatbot for Twitter, uh, a quick introduction to Dialogflow. What is Dialogflow? Dialogflow is a company uh, or an organization in Google uh, that will simply put help you create a chatbot for Twitter. Actually, it need not be Twitter. The interface could be anything. It could be a website. Uh, uh, mobile app, uh, Google Assistant, and all you know different interfaces mentioned here. Uh, basically, uh, going back to Twitter, think of it as uh, an automated way or an automated system that will read your tweets and uh, understand them and accordingly reply to the person uh, who has tweeted to you or reply to the tweet, basically. Uh, I'm going to take the example of, let's say you have a company called XYZ Enterprises uh, and you have a Twitter handle, uh, folks are tweeting to you, you want to read those tweets and uh, reply to them. Uh, here are a few examples uh, that you would want to reply to, let's say if uh, someone tweets one of these statements to you uh, and uh, you want to go ahead and uh, send one of these replies to them or if someone's inquiring your phone number, you want to go ahead and send them the phone number, or uh, take uh, think of a more personalized Twitter channel. Let's say if someone was uh, someone like you is kind enough to let me know that you like the video, I would want to tweet back and say that, uh, you know, I'm glad that you liked it, or one of those options that, no, if you let me know, I will be personally replying. But anyways, uh, it, it won't be a chatbot, that's what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, Let's go back to Dialogflow. You should be able to sign up for free. So basically go to Dialogflow and it's, uh, it's you can sign up there for free. Uh, once you go in, uh, you would be brought to an interface to be similar to uh, something like this. You go ahead and create what's called a new agent. Let's call it uh, my Twitter agent. Go ahead and say create. There you go, the agent got created and uh, by default it will come up uh, with a couple of intents here. I'll explain what these are later. Uh, but it says there are no regular intents. Create a first one and uh, here it talks of what intents are. Uh, think of each intent as a particular action that you want to take when uh, someone tweets to you uh, something specific. For example, if someone tweets and lets you know that uh, you guys are great or someone's appreciating you guys, uh, then you go ahead and uh, reply to that tweet or tweet fan reply. All right? Think of that as one of your intents. So let's go ahead and create one. I'm going to call it Tweet fan reply and uh, train with intents or phrases that the users might say. Here you want to put in examples of what you think your users might say to appreciate you or to say something, uh, what they might say to uh, say something nice about you. Okay. I'm going to save that and what do you want to reply with? Uh, what is your response going to be? Uh, you probably could go back and say one of these things. Uh, the purpose of putting multiple responses is that uh, it will go ahead and randomly select one of the responses that you provide so it sounds a little more natural. Right, it's not the same reply all the time. So. I'm going to create one more intent, which could be, uh, what am I going to call it? Tweet phone number reply. 
if someone asks me uh, my organization's phone number I want to provide them with my phone number let's go ahead and put a tr few training phrases uh, would be nice if you could provide at least uh, five to ten training phrases and uh, no the user need not use the exact same phrase uh, that is where the natural language and uh, you know artificial intelligence and all that comes in basically uh, it will realize uh, what the user is trying to say in natural language uh, doesn't have to be an exact predefined training phrase you don't have to provide the entire list here uh, but five to ten phrases would be great so uh, you know if you're provided can I call you uh, if someone says can we call you or I would like to call you uh, Dialogflow would still recognize that someone's uh, inquiring the phone number and it would send this information back to Twitter. So let's save that. Uh, what else do I have? I have uh, two intents. Let me quickly go ahead and create the other one too. I'm going to fast forward that probably. So now I have three intents. Um, you know, if someone appreciates my organization, or if someone likes my video, or someone inquires my phone number. Let's go ahead and head over to Twitter, or actually go to integrations. You go here to Twitter, and uh, you switch this guy on. Uh, you click on this ring called Twitter Application Management. Create a new app. Right. Uh, so Twitter application management will take you to apps.twitter.com. Go ahead and create a new app. I am going to call it uh, XYZ Bot. Give it a name. Uh, give it a description. Go ahead and say yes. Create your Twitter application. Go to permissions as it says here and uh, say read write access, update setting, keys and access tokens. Of course, uh, this is a secret, so keep it a secret. Don't share it on YouTube. Go ahead and also say uh, create my access token. Once you have all this information, uh, let's go ahead and uh, give your bot a name copying all this information from Twitter to uh, dialog flow so as to build the bridge or so as to do the integration and click on start uh, a quick word on th the name that you provide here the name that you provide here has to be the same as your Twitter handle. Uh, if you don't do that, uh, the reply will go only in case someone sends you a direct message. It will not go as, you know, reply to public tweets. So once you do that, you start it off and, uh, you know, you actually all set from this side. There's nothing more you need to do. Uh, now I have started and uh, let me go first, make sure I don't have any more uh, scenarios where I have the bot enabled or Twitter bot enabled. Let's just go make sure I go to integrations. Twitter is off there and uh, there was another one where I had switched it on. Twitter is off there so let's go back to our sh what I had called it my Twitter agent. Go back to integrations. Twitter checking once again just to see that it's on. It's close. Okie dokie. Now let's give it a shot. Fingers crossed. Uh, this is the Twitter account I had mentioned earlier. XYZ Enterprises and my Twitter handle is 2015 trial. Uh, here is another Twitter account. Borrowed it from my wife. She doesn't use it much so it should be okay. Uh, Let's say if she was to tweet to me and say, uh, what would she say? Great video. Well, she wouldn't say that, but uh, anyway, 
Nice. If she was, she wouldn't say that because she's not interested in this. Uh, there you go. I click on that and there is a reply. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, or if someone was to come and tweet to my company and say, uh, can I call you? Tweet. And uh, see one new tweet. Can I call you? Yes, you can reach us at this number. Or if someone was going to say, And that is a reply to that. Uh, see, I had not actually trained my Dialogflow bot with this exact phrase. I think I had not. What is your phone number? Uh, but uh, it still recognized the same and uh, it sent the reply back. Uh, now, a couple of words of caution. Uh, see what happens with uh, if, if someone was to tweet me. Uh, You know, John contact me. It replied and said something about, uh, can you say that again? This is where the uh, default uh, fallback intent comes in. You know, if someone tweets something to you and the dialog flow does not understand, it will kick what is called the default fallback intent and it will, you know, send one of these replies back. You probably don't want them for Twitter, I'm thinking, but yeah, if you want, uh, you know, you can leave it on. But I'm going to switch it off for now, just switch it off here and save it again. And this time, if someone tweets to you, uh, uh, and uh, Dialogflow doesn't understand, it is not going to, uh, it's not going to reply. So if I go to tweet and tweets and tweets and reply, oh, well, it still replied. Why did it do that? Uh, let me uh, let me go take a quick look as to why it replied. I should have saved it. Maybe I didn't. Let me try again. My son is standing next to me while I'm recording this. So let me quickly say something to him. Oh, come on, let me type it right. Morning, love. And uh, what's with this? Uh, let's see if it's still replied. I was hoping it wouldn't. Let me pause the video for a moment and see what's happening. Actually, no, it's working as expected, actually. Oh, my bad. Uh, you know, when I said morning love, it came back and said greetings over here. Also, it said greetings. Uh, uh, basically, what it triggered in that scenario was the intent called default welcome intent. So if someone comes and greets you, it's going to reply uh, and say one of these things randomly. If you want, you could switch it off or leave it on, basically. Uh, I have switched off the default welcome intent, and let's take an example of... Uh, what is the time? You see, in this scenario, it doesn't understand what you mean by that. And if I had the, uh, you see, there was no reply. If I had the default fallback intent switched on, uh, then it's going to reply. Actually, this time again, let's try uh, what is the time. I'm going to delete the tweet, so otherwise it won't let me tweet the same thing again. Let's see what happened. Come on, don't embarrass me. Um, it sometimes just takes time for the training to take place. It takes a few minutes, that's all it is. 
I'd pause the video, but yeah, uh, sometimes it just takes a little time when you change some of the intents and uh, before the change uh, takes effect in Twitter. But you know, I switched back the default fallback intent, and uh, you see how it comes back and says say that again. Uh, was there uh, anything else? Uh, no, I think that's it. And if you need to know more about a little bit more about Dialogflow, please refer to the videos that I have mentioned in the description. I hope you like this video and you would be kind enough to send me that tweet or leave me a, a message on YouTube. Uh, thank you very much for your time, folks, and have a great day ahead.